left off last week was this little part um, generally the right shape but definitely needed to be adjusted so that it fits into the hole and uh, looks more like the part that I want so we're going to continue on with modifying this part now that we've got the rough shape uh, hogged out and uh, well let's carry on this little red guy with these um, arms here fit perfectly right within this circle here and a strap will come up and over top of this pin and then out the other side and you can hang a weight just off of uh, a nail on strap <clears throat> so there's a few things that you can probably see that are a problem right off the get-go first of all the diameter of this is just not gonna work with this guy here and I'm gonna assume that this line or this edge here is about the length that I want it to so I want to actually pull this edge and this edge pretty much all these edges out all these round edges out so that they fit within the diameter of this guy right here so first thing that we need to do to basically get this uh, part into the right dimensions is we kinda of need to take this part and align it with the weight now we were in the modeling tab but we need to go to the structures tab and we need to position this so that we're in the right spot so if you click on the drop down from the position is that we want to align the axis so we want to align the axis from that radius to that and you notice that it popped over and it is in the right orientation now at this point we can still stay within this dialogue and we can go we want to mate and we want to take that face and this face and join them together and we got the part right within where we need it to be so at this point we can start playing with the dimensions and one of the things well not so much the dimensions but the shape so let's assume that we want to have this tab or this face come out to about that edge so I'm gonna select on that one edge and then I'm gonna hold down shift and I'm gonna select on this other edge and I'll hit the middle mouse button and that will lock in the selection that I have but you'll notice that the the dialogue that came up doesn't really give me what I need because if I start pulling some of these parts around it's it's moving more a linear in a linear fashion and both parts are going the same direction that's not what I want so I'm gonna control shift and as you can see it'll let me taper and stuff but again none of this is what I want to have happen but if I right click this here will let me do some different things there's a few items down here off the screen that you can't see but I want to change the radius so at this point I'm going to change the radius. I'm going to bring it out to about here and just eyeball it and we'll say that that looks pretty good. So it solved that problem right there really quickly. So this is a perfect example of starting to size things up to where you want them to be. The next one is is that this I want to actually fit within that part. Now we're not going to try to be completely exact in this circumstance but we're going to go through the same thing is that we have the radius here. I'm going to shift select and you can change the selections um, if you want by hitting the space bar and it'll let you select other things but we're not going to worry too much about that we're just going to come down here and we're going to do a radial offset again the same thing as we did before and we're just going to kind of eyeball the ghost image to about where we want it to be now with this because of what I am working with having a loose fit is really not that big of a deal so we're gonna say that that's okay so we've got that all set up and the last thing that we need to do and this is these push-pull operations are really really kinda nice especially if you're just trying to you know, rough out a model so we've got all that set up again right click choose radial offset and we're gonna say that this doesn't need to be that sort of thick we're just gonna kinda bring it back to about it's kind of snapping in some spots that I don't necessarily want it to be so we can go there but you'll notice that once I've let go of the mouse it's actually going to give me a chance to come in here and modify it again if I really want to so let's just pull it right about here and I can give it the the proper offset dimension that I want here if I really need it to be you know 0.25 let's just take that not quite what I wanted we'll just go right about there you'll notice that this is kind of jumping around it's one of those things where you know it's a fairly complex operation so it might cause some problems there we go that looks pretty good and now that we have that I'm just gonna select OK and there we go now the last thing that we're gonna do is this part is a little bit narrow I want it to be a little wider so I'm gonna select on that one face and I am going to hold down shift and here's another thing too is if you hold down shift you can pan if you hold down control you can zoom when you're using the middle mouse button 
But that aside is that I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to select that other face. I'm going to hit the middle mouse button. And at this point, I want to move 2D, but I want them to offset. And this is, again, one of those really handy tools where you can go, you know what, I want to offset it. And let's say we'll come out to about here so that there's a little bit of a gap. And we'll say OK. And there you have it. There is a roughed out version of the part that I need to, to fit in here. You know, I can play with the dimensions. You know, if I really need to take this face here without doing any of the really complex operations, I can go, you know what, this face I need to be, you know, just a little shallower. And in this case, what I would want to do is instead of just moving that individual face, I want to move this face as well. And you can do that individually if you want. You can bring that up and go, you know what, let's make that base a little thicker. But we're not going to bother doing that. This is one of those things where you basically just want to get in there and kind of play with pushing and pulling things around. It, it takes a little bit of a different uh, thought process in, in playing with the parts and modifying them. But what I would really recommend you do is if you want to come in and start learning some of this stuff, especially if you're another, you work in other CAD packages, is start out first thing in the morning and hop on to Direct Modeling Express uh, without any preconceived notions or any thoughts about the workflow that you have with any of the other CAD. And at that point, you'll find that you can move around in the software a whole lot faster and a lot better. Here's another quick thing. Let's assume that I want to edit that weight if I'm clicking on anything here is that I'm still not editing that weight I'm editing this active part but I can come in here for the weight and I can right click and set it as active so now that is the active part and you'll notice that the little widget that I have here that was designed in the other part and it's no longer active so any editing that we do in here will be just that editing right within this weight so let's just shallow that up a little bit and one of those things where you gotta click that second time make sure you do that and we'll say hey that looks a little better and there you go there's that little widget that I have for holding a strap onto a weight again the strap comes in over top of this and uh, fits in here we'll probably deal with this I, I like this model because it's really simple yet it's an actual part that we use in reality and I can show you how to modify this whole uh, piece for other things uh, later on and, and basically it gives somebody who's the creative type a place to do three-dimensional models not being constricted by the uh, CAD overhead or the parametric overhead and then later on we'll import this into something that is parametric and start working on it from there. In the meantime hopefully that's helped you out and I'll talk with you guys shortly.